Okay, so for this video, I'm going to show you guys how I do my Eve boxes in my projects. So I've already drawn simple shape. Um, and as you can see, Revit never models in where this would be boxed out with your soffit and your fascia. So the easiest way I'm going to show you first, just go to roof and then let's just throw on some fascia there. Which as you can see is a lot bigger than my roof. So I'm gonna take this down. Okay, so we still don't have that here. So one way I think Revit really wants you to do it is go into a plan view. They want you to go to roof and soft it. We're just gonna draw this in here. Um, got a standard overhang of one foot four. So I'm gonna put that in here, take it to the right level. Um, okay, that should be good enough for now. So as you can see, it's there, but we don't have anything to cover that front side. So all we're gonna do is go back to our fascia and then we're just gonna place it there. And then we wanna make sure that we are lined up, obviously. So I'm gonna do that now with the align tool. Okay, so that's generally somewhat what these normally look like. Now, we've got a couple of things to clean up this. Uh, the first one being, I need to extend this. First one being is we will have these lines that are really annoying and you don't want those to show up in your project. So the best way to get rid of those is using the join. So in order to join, we will go to modify and here's join geometry. So all we're gonna do is click this and then click your other fascia and bam. So. That makes it a lot cleaner when you're in your elevations, you won't see that line. And then the last thing you can do is just throw on another fascia here to kind of um, encapsulate that whole box. And you can drag uh, things as you need and just join geometry until things, things work out. Um, another way you could do it is by using modeling geometry. And the way that I would do that, and this sometimes can be a better way to do it, uh, it just really depends. We wanna set our, our plane just to be right at that fascia, which I misclicked there. Pick plane. Okay, that's on the face. So now we wanna go to component and model in place. Um, you can make it really whatever you want. Um, I'm just gonna put it in roofs because that makes sense. Now, all you're gonna do is go to extrusion and we are just going to draw what the box would kind of look like to kind of fill in that area. So there's our model and we're just gonna take it all the way through like you would how it is in real life and just line those up and, and there you go. That, is a nice box. It'll show up in renderings. It'll show up in your elevations. Um, joining geometry can be a little bit more difficult, but it worked there. So either way works. I think the model in place works a lot better, but if you're doing cuts through there, it's gonna show up as a big block and you might not want that. And you might wanna go to this version. Um, so this is more an accurate version, but this is a quick way to do it, especially if you're doing renderings. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and make sure you like and subscribe and follow for the next video. Thanks.